Ceridian? Uh, what do you mean, Ceridian? War! Ceridian, what's wrong? War! 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 I don't think she can hear us. We need to go back to the swamps. You understand that? But it's a bird. It's Ceridian, by way of the invisible, speaking through the crow. Pity it doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with you. Can you feel it? Uh, if I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. We can get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. Nobody's home. I can feel it. Who oh, there? Where could they be?
crows. They flock to that great tree up there. The pattern needs to line up. This could be a good spot to cross. Not quite the right alignment. Banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must... What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers, only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. <sighs> 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 
Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her. For me. Too late, old moss head, as ever. Is a charge. Up someone else. Mosshead is no more. He'll never drink from your skull now, will he? Another ancient promise broken. now. You're all I ever had and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then.
she took me in when my father, when no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight. Leave her be, for now. Hmm. Become of Seeker now. She'll try to make sense of her pain. Or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. Mm. Or she'll try to kill it. Grief knows no rule book. When I returned from the war, I walked the wet streets of London for a long time. All I could feel was my heart digging a hole deep inside my chest. After what I had seen, what I had done. I just wanted the pain to stop. I wanted oblivion. Your ghosts were killing you. They almost pushed you to insanity. But you pulled through. I let myself be drowned. You're the one who pulled me out. Poetic, if melancholic. What's going on, Red? I feel lost. I can't even stand myself. I can barely stand it. Look at you. Something eats me from within, and it's growing. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. I scare me too. I am untethered from the world, but through you, I still feel like myself. I cling to this. The closer we get to my return. The further from life I feel, I care nothing for the living. I only care for what I can take from them. Do you feel that way about me too? No, of course not. What are we doing? We're reclaiming our world, the only way we can. Are you sure this is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Yeah. She had power, purpose. She had love, and she still chose to leave. Maybe she's right. Should we reconsider? It may not be too late to change our minds. But you must promise me, Red. Whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. I swear it, my love. This is it. The 
thought that you could bring me back without losing yourself in the bringing was a charming fiction. But a fiction, all the same. I'd have shouldered the burden. We'd have done it together. No. The price was too high. This is for the best. This is right. So, we ready ourselves for your leaving. Is it worse to lose your faith in your fathers than it is to lose faith in yourself? Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect, and then to pay penance. But none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. How will he guide the faltering faithful when he has so little faith in himself? My father would tell me stories. In the heart of the mountains lived a mystical race who desired only peace. I hear him now. Uh, these mystics, he said, they valued life and used gold only for their mausoleums. All creatures were accepted among them, except the men who were born to stay away because they were bellicose and greedy. Let me guess, they went anyway. Aye, being bellicose, they did. And being greedy, went after the gold. Their mausoleums desecrated, the mystics cursed the humans, hid themselves away. And they remind me of Ceridian, who would rest her. Invisible. These remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. and flesh, I summon you! Not gonna ask for help? on for size. 
No, we need to find something else. Change targets. Tormented first. It's coming for you. Down. Watch out. Spectre possession. The mountains must be rich in ore. Uh, looks a bit rickety. It's built for a team. One man alone should be fine. Should be.